everybody, welcome back. I am making just a really simple bean and Swiss chard dish today with some garlic and onions and a little bit of tomatoes just because I have some tomatoes left from the garden. Um, but just a quick saute of these really beautiful chard and yummy Rancho Gordo beans. The pinto beans is what I'm using today, but you could pretty much use any beans that you like. The white ones are great. Um, I like pinto beans because when I cook them, they kind of keep the shape. It's not super mushy. And I just made this in the Instant Pot um, 40 minutes, not really even soaked. So if you have an Instant Pot or pressure cooker, just super easy, or you can just use canned beans, whatever is easier for you, but just delicious Rancho Gordo, you can't say no. So chard, I'm gonna, let's chop, hold on, let's chop the chard first since they're right here and then three cloves of garlic later. Chard is one of those greens that is just so easy to use it really in anything because it has a nice consistency. It's not as sensitive as spinach and less, um, what's the word? It's easier than kale because kale takes longer to cook. So chard I think is sort of in that between place and it just has a nice subtle um, taste. Doesn't really taste super strong. So it can go into soups and it can even be in salad. And I actually even like the stem. Plus it's just really pretty, right? This rainbow chard. So that's about, oh, I don't know, just a bunch of chard, right? That will cook down. So what was that? Three, five, six or seven stems of the bigger leaves but as much as you want, right? And then we will do a half of um, a medium-sized onion. If you like more onions, go for it. I like onions when it's cooked down and a little bit caramelized, so we'll do that. We'll put the onions in first, and then the chard, and then the beans. The beans are already cooked, so the beans just need to be warmed up. So basically, cooking the garlic and the onions and a little bit of tomatoes, just to add that nice flavor and nice color. And it's just a really easy dish, totally plant-based, vegan. And I have a nice loaf of sourdough bread that we will eat this with tonight. Just easy, easy, easy. I don't really do anything that is not easy, if you haven't really noticed. Okay, so just chop roughly the tomatoes this is um, plum tomatoes, but you, you can just put like omit the tomatoes. You do not need the tomatoes, um, but it's just a nice, nice juice. Just addition to that, and then let's just chop the garlic as well. Makes a nice meatless Monday meal if you follow the trend of meatless Monday. If you want to add some meat to it. I'm sure it will taste great as well. Just a nice base, just easy, simple flavors of good ingredients. So garlic, tomatoes, onions, chard, and beans. And then oil in the pan, salt and pepper to taste, and a little drizzle of your favorite, like best quality olive oil. That's it. All right, let's get cooking. 